Hello and welcome to the highlights of day four of the first test match between Pakistan and Australia. At the Pindi Cricket Stadium, it was a delayed start due to all-night rain and the game was reduced to two sessions on day four. Pakistan and Australia starting off from where they left on day three, 476 for four Pakistan batting first, Australia in reply 271 for two, still trailing by 205. Let's join the action in session two on day four. Norman Ali is almost ready to start. And Stephen Smith is uh, at the non-striker's end at the moment. I think we're going to have about 60 overs today. I'll uh, get further into that shortly. Advancing straight away and picks up a single. Buzzard Khan, good afternoon. That's beautifully played against the spin nice work from smith and that's the first boundary of the morning really well hit there steve smith and even from the bowler's point of view you'd feel like he's hitting across the line but just the control in his head the placement there the balance there's never any doubt get it past that infield there's always gonna be four Little bit leg side, it's gonna scream away for uh, four leg buys. I just want you to explain, Casper, if you don't mind, what do you mean when you say long, so some of our viewers understand that, long in his action? Yeah, well, just with the bowling hand, it's in presenting the seam down the wicket. That time there, the, the seam was just, just angled, which sent it down towards the leg side, which uh, Smith helped it on its way. Oh, it's nicely worked. That's right out of the middle. That screamed away for a boundary. My goodness, that's a fine stroke. How many times do you get sucked into those pads of Stephen Smith? You think we're in with a chance. He's right across, but he doesn't miss very often. That is beautiful. Just timed away. So still at the crease. The balance all brilliant as he just places it away. Just on the legs. Uh, that's the problem in Test match cricket. If you just get offline, especially with the field set for the offside, you can just be, you'll be clipped away for four. That's the problem. It does fly off this new ball across this fast outfield. Good balance. Oh, that is unlucky. That is a brilliant length. It's a brilliant line. I don't think it would have carried even if second slip was in play. Good bowling. Such a good bowler, Naseem Shah, when he gets it right. That one's right on the money where he exactly wanted to land. He bowls a beautiful outswinger. Nice action. Ball coming out of hand nicely. And the ball sort of died and, and, and the soft hands. Oh, good shot. Just a clip. That is beautiful balance. He just, the way that he waits for the ball, sees the angle, and then clips it away. Well, the reason why Shaheen gone round the wicket is, is that the ball's not swinging back in. And this is, this is angle. This is not swing. So this can be easily picked. Oh, excellent bowling. That is really good. Left arm round the wicket. Perfect length. That is a big wicket as well. Manus Labashain on 90. The man who was set. That is outstanding from Afridi. Well, this delivery was never there to be driven. Just a little bit away from him. Just a perfect length. There you go. Just dragged him onto the front. front. And what a wonderful catch. That was going away from... Uh, Abdullah Shafiq and just grabbed it with both hands. Wonderful spell. He's in the middle of that. Played quite nicely. Manas Labesheng gone for 90. 3-11 for 3. Oh, 
Well, those soft hands, you try and push the ball that little bit further outside off stump. Gets an edge, but he was in no real trouble there, Smith. And we see here, beautifully bowled, but look at Steve Smith's hands. He played it very softly, he played it really late. He doesn't go pushing at the ball, just dead bats it. And then lets the pace of the ball do the rest. So, wonderful piece of batting. Lovely bowling. Well, again, as Waka Yunus said, that excellent line, excellent length, but it's just not carrying. That was a good edge as well. Good over. This is a good spell of cricket from Pakistan. 317 for three. Yeah, that one uh, left him a little bit and a good stop there. He's a, he's a very good slip fielder, Abdullah Shafiq, throwing himself to his right. Oh, misfield. Head is underway. Good shot. Just another clip that we saw like from Labashane earlier on. Head's now in on the act. It's a fine line when you when you talk about the length. This was a touch fuller, touch straighter, and that was uh, gone very quickly to the boundary. Oh, you said he likes width, Simon Kadic. Well, I make you absolutely right. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> three twenty-one for three. Oh, excellent. Really, really good. Went for that cut shot, this time against the spin. And that is a good catch from Rizwan. Good captaincy as well from Barbara Azam. I think Trevor, uh, Trevor's head was uh, hoping that that ball will spin. That one, uh, because the ball is new and uh, just went quickly, beautifully taken. It's never easy when you're behind the stumps that close. Uh, big wicket. Couple of boundaries for Travis Head is to disappear to 326 for four now. Easily steers that away to bring up his uh, 50. So that's his uh, 34th for Australia. Been a wonderful player over the years, that's for sure. And he will certainly realize that uh, he will want to kick on. 95 over is gone, 341 for four. play with beautiful shot he said he wasn't interested in using his feet this time he said just give it through the offside uh, just waited for that and punched it leg side secret of that shot just allowing the ball to come on and then playing it And the session is done. Another good session for Australia. Pakistan have toiled hard. Steve Smith remains and he looks set. Only a couple of times did he come out of his bunker and look to play some shots. And when he did, it looked very, very good. So at T on day four, Australia 364 for four with Khwaja's 97 earlier, Labushain's 90. A little unlucky, both of them couldn't get to their hundreds. Australia still trailed by 112 runs and one session to go in the day. Pakistan's bowling, Noman two for 77 and Shaheen and Sajid Khan grabbing a wicket apiece. So it's 364 for four Australia as they walk into the final session on day four. People were there at the at the pitch side, and they were looking at uh, you know, the options, which we will discuss in a minute. Straight to the man in the covers. So I I just have this feeling that this. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful shot. It was certainly flighted up. It was a half volley. It meant to get that treatment and a dead. Mm. 
Nicely played, but it deserved it. Oh, that's nicely played as well. Gee, he's strong, his timing is terrific, and that's another boundary. That's the second one of the over. Also brings up the... 50 partnership. That's a brilliant shot. The first one slightly flighted on the front foot. Oh, well, that's exactly what they were doing that plan for. Just basically saying, are you going to throw it away? Are you going to make the mistake? We're going to try and buy a wicket. What are you going to do? And that is exactly what Cameron Green has done. It was just a ball that he could have hit anywhere on the leg side. It wasn't a great delivery. Have a look at this. He goes for the pull shot. Tries to get a bit cute and hit it too fine and just gets an edge and it goes straight to short fine leg or 45. And they are happy because they know they have bought a wicket. Cameron Green is devastated. He goes for 48, too short of his 50, 407 for five. And the batsmen are enjoying these conditions. Alex Carey helps himself to a reverse sweep. He goes to five. And he's just decided to fetch that outside the line of off stump. Ooh, <laughs> nasty little rip there. Gonna have to get the seamstress out there. Ball just over. Just over, not far away at all, but in the end it's back-to-back -back boundaries for Carey. Bit of intent from Australia, 417 for five. Well, I think he got a hand on that as well, did Barbara Azam. You see that type of shot and you just think he's going to hit it harder and he wasn't quite ready, but it just sneaks through. About to complete his 41st over. Again, tossed up, beautifully driven. Down the track, and that's going to scream away for a boundary. Smith was waiting for that. 421 for five. They like that one. Up goes that finger. There it is, there's one. Got Steve Smith now. So Steve Smith goes for 78. That's a very big wicket. Disappointment for Smith. Bowling from the rough is working for Pakistan. Uh, never comfortable when you land in that region. I think he just got a little bit of glove on it. And uh, Mohammad Rizwan knew that he has uh, nicked it. He has got a little bit of glove on it. And a big wicket, an important wicket for Pakistan. Uh, very fine innings comes to an end. It's 4.22 for six. That shows a bit of Adam Gilchrist in it, isn't it? Lovely shot. Oh, how about that? That is an absolute beauty. That has rattled into off stump, done by the length and speed as much as anything. That's an absolute stunner. Perfect length. How many times do you see this? Hit top of off and he's done that absolutely perfectly. Nassim Shah has been toiling hard and long all day. Kerry's gone for 19. Australia now 4-4, four, 4-7. Four, four for seven. Well, the news is that bad light has got the better of the day. Probably got further into this day than we have any other so far, but when it comes, it closes in pretty quickly. So just that one over from Barbara Azam. And a few hands that have been peppered out there. Mitchell Stark and Rizwan, the keeper, will go off and ice whatever bruises they've got.